Welcome back, dear viewer. Today we're taking a look at every change that heavy grenade launchers underwent in update 7.3.5. Starting things off, heavy grenade launchers received a reserve ammo buff of at least six rounds, depending on the grenade launcher, and as I suspected, this change was dependent on the grenade launcher's frame. Rapid fire frames received an enormous plus 12 ammo boost, whereas adaptive frames got a slightly lower plus 10 reserve ammo boost. With triple reserves, this means you can now hold 35 and 29 grenades for rapid fires and adaptives, respectively. Compressed waveframes were were not left out either, with them receiving a reserve ammo boost of plus 8 grenades. This change also affected exotic heavy grenade launchers, most notably Anarchy and Parasite, which went from a pre-patched total reserves of 19 and 9 to now a whopping 28 and 17 grenades respectively across the entire reserves. Spike grenades was changed to grant 12.5% extra impact damage down from the previous 50%. However, overall grenade impact damage was buffed by 10% and the detonation damage by another 5%, which has actually resulted in a a very minuscule damage nerf across the board. Previously, on Carl, my Perkless Caraxes hit for a total of 45,585 per shot, which has now been reduced to 44,208, a very small 3% damage nerf. Nevertheless, the increase in ammo does make up for this, and overall it amounts to a 48% increase in total damage for rapid fires and a 50% increase in total damage for adaptives, which is absolutely huge news. Quickly before the video continues, if you like what you see here, consider subscribing as we're trying to reach 30,000 subs before the release of the final shape and we need your help to get there. Now back to the video. One of the biggest weaknesses of grenade launchers previously was that, despite them excelling at DPS, their total damage was awful, and now it's been bumped by a huge 50% for only a very small loss in DPS. Once again, exotic heavy grenade launchers also received the damage buffs, which I can imagine for any anarchy double slug lovers out there is great news, and especially for Parasite having an overall 6% damage increase for the strongest burst weapon option already is quite fantastic. One thing I did not verify was the detonation damage of the anarchy traps, but I'm assuming since the impact damage was buffed, the same might be true for the detonation, but keep in mind that the tick damage didn't change. Compressed waveframes received a 20% damage buff, which actually puts their damage very close to that of an adaptive frame now, and slightly above that of a rapid fire. On top of this, the wave width was increased by a huge 40%, with the visual difference being quite clear, as you can see here. That's all of the major changes, now I just want to leave a few comments. Not much has changed in the world of adaptive and rapid fires outside of them getting a huge bump in total damage. However, the changes to the compressed waveframe archetype are quite interesting since now their damage is basically the same as the other frames with the added benefit of grounded ad clear, but with the one restriction of not working on airborne bosses. For any that are curious, the total damage for the waveframes went up by 70%, which no joke is pretty huge. Although personally, I still don't see them being used much, but I'm more than happy to be proven wrong on this one. Furthermore, for any anarchy double slug enjoyers, the new changes have basically brought it back to its former glory. However, these days it's unfortunately overshadowed by so many other things, I don't think the magic will ever feel the same, sadly. Parasite getting 8 more shots with triple reserves is also pretty nutty, and I'm not sure who at Bungie approved that, but I'll take it, I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short breakdown of the GL changes. Soon I will also be putting out videos revolving around the rocket launcher changes, so stay tuned for those. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Your support means the world. And if you're really into the content I create, consider becoming a member of the channel, which not only lets you support me in the best way possible, it also nets you a whole host of awesome perks along with it. A massive shout out to these members up on screen, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.